أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Last year, Alhamdulillah, we had 10 reminders, reflections of Ramadan uh, and it was successful. Alhamdulillah, a lot of brothers and sisters uh, attended. So this year, we revived the same Ramadan reflections with duas. Tonight, our guest speaker is Vice President for Tarbiya, Brother Saad Kazmi. So inshallah, I will invite Brother Saad Kazmi to share his Ramadan reflections with us and then make a dua. Jazakallah khair, Shahid Bey. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulahi al-Kareem wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Allahumma ja'alna minnum alladhin amanu wa amilu salihat wa tabasaw bil haqqi wa tabasaw bil sabr. Jazakallah khair for the opportunity. And my role here is just to remind myself first and everybody else about how can we connect this month of Ramadan to a call to our mission? And of course, you all know that our mission, as our charter says, is to seek pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by establishing his deen, making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-akbar or greater in all aspects of our lives. So the sole purpose of our creation, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, is nothing but وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ and therefore, the only purpose of sending down all the prophets was to call people towards worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he says that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, worship Allah and avoid fake deities. So as he subhanahu wa ta'ala said at the time when he was sending down Adam alayhi salam, he said that, فَإِمَّا يَاتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنْ تَبِعَا هُدَايَا فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَعْزَنُونَ when I send guidance, whoever follows it will neither have fear nor regret. So this is the, the whole concept of having a mission of seeking pleasure, pleasure for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala greater in all aspects of our life. It requires some effort. And the role Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already defined for this effort is that we are the khalifa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. And as in this role, it's very important to know the spirit of these worshiping rituals. And that includes, of course, our salah and our siyam. So why and how salah helped us to avoid indecency and evil? And why and how the saum, the fasting, the month we are in, is to gain the consciousness or taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan, the month of Ramadan, it provides us with a very effective tool to prepare us to achieve our mission, that is to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, we give up on our food, intimacy, and comfort in Ramadan. All three, these above mentioned things, they are halal and they are tayyib for us to enjoy within all other 11 months of the year. By stopping from halal, Ramadan basically prepares us to say no to haram and mubah during the rest of the 11 month of the year. The extension of above three, you know, that is food and drink, intimacy and comfort, is exactly what can get us in trouble. So Ramadan is also is a collective ibadah. If you think about it, it's not just, uh, you know, one person who is individually doing it. So ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to have a sense of community and camaraderie where every healthy Muslim is fasting and giving up on food and drink, intimacy and comfort at the same time. So if you think about it, if only piety was required, fasting could have been prescribed at different times for different people so that no one would have known about other person's fasting and there would not have been any issue of, you know, intentions. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it obligatory at the same time to promote the true meaning of community and camaraderie. And that is the sense that we promote through the understanding of jama'ah. That, that's when the brotherhood kicks in. That's when the sisterhood kicks in. Brothers and sisters, last piece of reminder that I want to inshallah give you is that Ramadan is a Ramadan not because of the fasting, not because of the Qiyamul Layl that we do, Taraweeh that we do, and not even because of Laylatul Qadr. But Ramadan is a Ramadan because of Al Quran, the greatest miracle of, Allah, of all times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was literally communicating 
with us when Quran was being revealed. As we all know about Ummi Ayman, who when Abu Bakr and Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhum, when they visited her after the demise of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and she was crying profusely. So Abu Bakr and Umar, they tried to console her. She said, that, I'm not crying, just crying for the death of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa but I'm crying because the wahi has stopped with his death. So Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is the month of Quran. Let's make it the light of our hearts and of our eyes. Let's not have a single day without cooling our eyes with it and drawing personal lessons on a regular basis. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that by the end of Ramadan, all of our previous sins and shortcomings are forgiven. So inshallah, we'll do a few minutes on dua as well. Allahumma laka alhamd, anta nuru samawati wal ard, wa man fihinna. Wa laka alhamd, anta qayyumu samawati wal ard, wa man fihinna. Wa laka alhamd, anta alhaq, wa ba'aduka alhaq, wa qawluka alhaq. Rabbana, zalamna anfusana, wa in lam taghfir lana, wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-khasirin. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi l-akhirati hasana, wa qina adab al-nar. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم ربنا وجعلنا مسلمين لك ومن ذريتنا أمة مسلمة لك وأرنا مناسكنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا رب اغفر ورحم وأنت خير الرحمين ربنا عليك تبكلنا وإليك أنبنا وإليك المصير ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف الرحيم اللهم صرف, قلوب صرف قلوبنا على طاعتك يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إن اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والسلامة من كل إثم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم إنا نسألك حبك وحب من يحبك والعمل الذي يبلغني حبك اللهم عينا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم إنا نسألك علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المحيا والممات اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية في الدنيا والآخرة الله سبحانه وتعالى we ask for your forgiveness Ya Allah this is the month of Ramadan this is the month of Quran we ask you O Allah سبحانه وتعالى in all of your great names to forgive us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we come out of this month, we ask you to make us as we were just born. Ya Allah, we ask for your forgiveness in this dunya. Ya Allah, we have committed sins day in and day out, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you have showed us the light in the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in his sunnah, through your book, Al-Quran. Ya Allah, we ask you, to keep us on the straight path. We ask you, Ya Allah, to keep us on Islam throughout our life. We ask you, Ya Allah, to give to take us out on the, on the path of Iman when, when you decide to take us out. 
Ya Allah, we ask you for blessings in this jama'ah. We have gathered you in your name, Ya Allah. You are the one who is Al-Aziz. You are the one who is Al-Qadir. We ask in all of your great names, in all your great attributes to allow us to stay together in your name, in your path. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, throughout the world, your people who call your name, people who call upon you, Ya Allah, the Ummah of you, Ya Allah, Ummah the Muslim, today is getting through, is going through rough times, Ya Allah. People who call upon your name, Ya Allah, in Baytul Maqdas, Ya Allah, they, we see their images, we see their videos, Ya Allah, we feel their pain, Ya Allah, but we don't have any control over those who are committing this oppression, Ya Allah. You are Al-Aziz, you are Al-Qadir, Ya Allah. We ask in all your great names to take care of these Zalimeen, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, show them the right, right path. Give them hidayah. And if they are not able to receive hidayah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you to take them out. We ask you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to give justice to those who are in India, to those who are asking in your great name. Ya Allah, we ask you to, to secure them, to keep them safe. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, those who have passed, Ya Allah, those who have left this world in the, in these, in the status of Iman, we ask you, Ya Allah, to forgive them. Ya Allah, we ask you, to give them Jannah al-Firdaus, the best status, the highest status in Jannah. Ya Allah, those who have recently passed, Ya Allah, the mother of our brother Rehan, she passed away in Pakistan, Ya Allah, we ask you for her maghfira. Ya Allah, we ask you to enter her, enter her in Jannah without any hisab. Ya Allah, we ask you to provide her with the best sustenance in the hereafter. Ya Allah, we ask you for the family of Brother Rehan to give them best patience. Ya Allah, other than her, whoever has passed away in, the, in this status of Iman, Ya Allah, we ask you for them to grant them Jannah. Ya Allah, at the same time, we're getting through many issues within and, and outside of, of our, our country here, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, those who are Islamophobes, they try to come in our, in our way, Ya Allah, in this struggle. Of, of this deen, Ya Allah, we ask you to take care of them as well, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, strengthen our hearts on Iman. Ya Allah, strengthen our jama'ah. Ya Allah, whatever internal and external threats that we have, Ya Allah, we ask you to alleviate them. Ya Allah, we ask you to eliminate them. Ya Allah, we ask you to provide us with the best sustenance in this world and the hereafter. Ya Allah. Your, your best night is ahead, Ya Allah. Laylatul Qadr is, a, is ahead. We ask you, Ya Allah, to allow us to witness the Laylatul Qadr. Ya Allah, we ask you to reap the benefit. Allow us to reap the benefit from this best night, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you have told us that this night is better than thousand months. Ya Allah, we ask you in your greater, greatest names, Ya Allah, that we allow us to witness this night and reap the maximum benefit from this night. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت الطباب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين. إن شاء الله we will see all of you tomorrow night with Sheikh Dawood Nasim. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. جزاكم الله خير في دارين. السلام عليكم.